Um, this morning, I'm so blessed to have my friend on the call. Um, I think we met officially 2008. Um, we've been praying, Tayo, please correct me. I think we've been praying together since 2009 or eight or thereabout, but we've been praying for over 10 years. That's and we correct. still pray together for over 10 years since then. Now, um, very, I'm quite emotional because this, uh, you know, a lot of things that we see now, I'm not trying to discuss it. Some things that we see now, like especially the way the prophetic is, you know, activation, blah, 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 blah. we didn't have names for it. We didn't have the terminology for it. Believe you me that we've seen wild experiences. I uh, was in my house last month, and we see some of the things. My husband was saying that, ah, thank God he met us later because the first meeting he came was like, no, shall we? Be? Because, I mean, there are some things our mouth cannot utter. But the good thing for me is now, I may remember that testimony I said about my friend working in an organization that they promoted him, they increased, they didn't want him to go, they increased his uh, money, and as money gave a testimony about how she, she's connecting to that testimony. Yes, that some of the things he did media, it was a mass commerce background, now is a product, um, head, head of product of a company, right? And he's, a, so he's doing coding, he did not, my friend did not do IT. God taught him coding, right? God taught him coding, he would just learn by observation here and there, there are some products that is the only one that can operate. There's a machine, it's the only one that can like talk about excellent spirit. When I was teaching you guys about excellent spirit, my friend carries it. And it's funny how I keep telling people that the prophetic doesn't just mean you have to be like, giving a word or mic or anything, it's how you live your daily lives. So I'm so grateful to God to see how you are spirit. When you talk about when I think about fit for purpose, I think he's one of the people I think about because we have seen God in different areas. And when you talk about someone translating in the market, I said because of him. Now they have prayer, opening prayer, prayer in his office. I, I said this testimony on this call, right? That they have prayer now in his office because they said, this is your God that made this happen in this company. That has never happened. You know what? Let us be praying. You know, and I'm just grateful to God to have him here this morning to share with us. He's a pastor, he's a leader, he's a change agent. And he's a, I call it, I me, mean, I've given it that he's a solutionary in the marketplace. Because that's for me is the biggest, one of the biggest testimony. I mean, when we're on campus, we didn't just read books. We didn't just pray and have Holy Ghost. We read our books. These guys were part of it that were topping their, we top, topping our faculties and our department, brought some changes to our department, even though we're very spiritual people. So we just joined today. Can you help me celebrate Pastor Tayo Alofo? Can you just help me celebrate, 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 celebrate. Guys, I know, I know, I love you guys on this call. Mm -hmm. Pull everything you can pull in your spirit. <laughs> Amen. Over to you, Kyle. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, thank you very much, Pastor ABC. Uh, I'm so excited to, to be here uh, as well today. And um, this morning, we are going to, today, particularly, we are going to be praying and um, we are going to be looking at the scripture, of course, and then we are going to be praying. Uh, I won't do so much of, of talking today because I want us to, to pray. Uh, I'll probably share a couple of experiences, but we are going, we are going to be praying. Um, one of the things um, that I've seen in recent time, and I keep uh, telling people is that, um, you know, as believers, the, the things that we do, um, our, our, our work, our businesses, they are platform for the manifestation of the Holy Ghost, right? They are, they are, they are, they are platforms for the manifestation of the Holy Ghost. They are, they are platform for God to, to reveal um, himself to, to the world. Their platform for God to show the world that whatever it is that they are thinking about, he, he, he's thinking about it better. I always tell people, um, when, when you look at uh, Noah building the ark, and when you look at Moses building the tabernacle in, in the wilderness, and you begin to imagine, a, a, a lot of professions are compressed into those activities. So for instance, if you look at Noah, um, when Noah was going to build the ark, if you, have ever, if you have ever sat down to look at the 
engineering configuration of that ark that was built by Noah, you discover that that is the perfect work of engineering genius. Like, and God was giving him all the specification. God was first, God was giving him the type of wood to use. That's carpentry. God was telling him about the where to put the window, talking about the ventilation. He, he had everything figured out, right? That, those are engineering, those are things that people go to MIT to study. And God was giving all of that knowledge to a guy who did not go to any school to build one of the biggest um, work of engineering in all of man history. If you look at the tabernacle of Moses, that one is even more mind blowing because there are more activities going on there, right? There is the, 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 the building of the structure of the temple itself, which is more of architecture. There is the utensils in the temple itself that, that were built. Some were goldsmith work, some were different kind of activity. There were, um, what is it called? Um, interior decoration inside. God was practically telling Moses, he said, twist it this way, use this color combination. So that some of you that think that God does not understand color combination, forget it. God is the best fashion designer in all of history that you can think about. He was telling Moses, he said, use purple, use blue, use this. This is the color you should combine with this. Right. So when you look at all of that, how God has dealt with man through history, you understand that when God is giving us work, when God is giving us work, they are not just it's not just a platform for us to earn a living. It's a platform for us to demonstrate the genius of God. If we say there is a God who is big, who is great, who is mighty, who is all wise. That wisdom should find expressions in the things that we do. That wisdom should find expression in the things that we do. But that's, that's, that's not really where we are going this morning. This morning, we are going to be praying a, a, a different prayer. And that's where we, we, we are going to be starting. That's, that's where the Lord is leading me this morning. So I want to show you something very quickly from Genesis, from the book of Genesis. Um, in Genesis uh, chapter 13, um, we see something happen to Abraham. Now, in verse 1 of that chapter 13, um, which is very important, it says, so Abraham went up from Egypt to Negev with his wife and everything he had, and Lot went with him. Um, Abraham had become very wealthy and in livestock and silver and gold. Verse 3, he said, from Negev, he went from place to place until he came to Bethel, to the place between Bethel and Ai, where his tent had, early, had been earlier, right? And where he had first built an altar, okay? There he called on the name of the Lord. So when God gave him this land, don't forget the first thing Abraham did was to build an altar. He built an altar. He built an altar. Now, if you don't go very quickly to verse 8, something happened eventually as they progress. It says, um, I, 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 because of our time, because I really want us to have time to pray, um, I want to skip some of the scripture and give you the main gist. So in verse 7, he said, current arose between Abraham's headsmen and Lot's headsmen. The Canaanite and the Perizzite were also living in the land at the time. Verse 8. It says, so Abraham said to Lot, this is where we're going. Abraham said to Lot, let's not have quarrel between you and me or between your headers and mine, for we are close relatives. Is not this the whole land before you? Let's part company. If you go left, I'll go right. If you go right, I'll go left. Now, look at Abraham. Abraham was practically seeding the entire land. He said, look, there is no need for trouble. Don't worry, me, I will choose last. You choose first. Anyone you choose is okay. Now, look at what Lot did. He said, Lot looked around and saw the whole plain of Jordan towards Zohar. 
that was well watered, like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt. This was before um, the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. So Lot chose for himself the whole plain to, of the Jordan and set out towards east. So in other words, he looked for the best because now he had free and he looked for the best and chose it. But see what happened. Hmm. He said, um, verse 14, I want to skip very quickly to verse 14. He said, the Lord said to Abraham, after Lot had parted from him, he said, look around from where you are to the north and south and east and west. All the land that you see, I will give to you and your offspring forever. So my, here's my question. <laughs> Lot had picked the best of the land. <laughs> then God came to Abraham. When Abraham went back to the place of fellowship, he said, Lord, you know, I don't want trouble. I'm a man of peace. You said we should follow peace with all men. So I've allowed Lord to pick, and he has picked the best of the land. Now I'm left with nothing. And here's what God told the God said, look to the east, look to the west, look to the south, look to the north. So what is left? Nothing. God practically told him to look to all the four corners. And God said, I will give you everything. So the question is, what exactly did Lot go away with? If God is still promising Abraham that he, is giving, he has given him everything, which means Lot thought that he went with something, but he went with nothing. Here is the point. When you are a believer, nobody can take what belongs to you. Nobody can take what belongs to you. See, uh, and I really want us to pray that prayer today. When you are a believer and you are in the place of fellowship with the Father, nobody can take what belongs to you. <laughs> See, <laughs> I, I, I was supposed to be promoted into, into a, a senior role. And um, when after I had done the work and all of that, a child came back to me to say, oh, we are so sorry. You, have, you are a fantastic guy. You've done this job beautifully. But this role is six levels, is six levels ahead of you. So we are sorry. We cannot promote you. All these issues, blah, blah, blah. So we are going to employ somebody from outside. The person will come and sit in the role so that you now have time to grow into the role. I went back to God. And I, I had my conversation with God. Guess what? Two times they tried to employ people for that role. All of them walk away. <laughs> the first time they employ somebody, the person had done the final stage. The person had met with the MD. The person had gone for medicals. For those of you that you work in corporate settings, you know when they send somebody to go and do medicals, it means that they have employed you already. They don't. By the time they are asking you to go and do medicals, it means that the company has given you employment already. Trust me. The person went for medicals. And after that, the company just went quiet, shut down. Nobody had the conversation with you. That's how the matter died. The second time they brought the conversation again, they interviewed, interviewed, interviewed different people. They finally found somebody, the person, the person had gotten offer letter. They already gave the person an offer letter. Then the person called somebody in the company. He said, but there is a guy that is in that your company. He said, ah, that guy is good. Why is that guy not occupying this role? This person does not know me from Adamo. He only said he has met me once when he was interacting with our company. He said, that guy is good. He said, why is the guy not filling this role? Then the friend told me, he said, it's because he's a junior person. And you know they are playing some office politics, and guess what the, the guy did? He rejected the offer. And you know why he rejected the offer? He, he, he said, if they have done this to that guy, one day they will do it to me. I will not collect the offer. And that was how the second person turned down the offer. Today, long story short, I'm occupying that role. That role that they said is six levels away from me. I'm occupying it. See, if 
if you are in fellowship with the Holy Ghost, see, I, I, I keep telling us that the platforms that God put us, they are supposed to be platform for the manifestation of the power of the spirit. Abraham knows that even if he lay everything before Lord and Lord, you cannot take what belongs to a man of fellowship. So we are going to start our prayer this morning. And we are going to start praying. I said, Lord, bring me to the place of fellowship. Bring me to the place of fellowship, the place of fellowship of the untouchables. The place of fellowship where all the world around me will know that there is a God that is with me. Lord, bring me to the place of communion, the place of the altar, the place of fellowship, the fellowship of the untouchable. He said, he rebuked the king for their sake and said, touch not my anointed. <laughs> and we say, Lord, bring me to the place of fellowship. Are you running a business? Are you an employee of any? It does not matter. It does not matter. Guess what? It does not matter whether your boss is an unbeliever. It does not matter whether your boss is, is the devil himself. When he look at you, every demonic spirit in him will bow to the lordship of Jesus. Can we say, Lord, you will bring me to the place of fellowship of the untouchables. Elbrumokosotoribekalatosomeleketeba Reke seilo mananto robo koso koto ike le teke nando robo so ke le boya inande kete li kurate ke sende bolo koso koto yebo yende kete kete soto to robo koto le kamenande Lord you will bring me to the place of the fellowship of the untouchable my le kosa ine menando robo kosa ibole ya rabete koso you will anoint me with the anointing of the untouchable. Touch not my anointed. Touch not my anointed. Don't think that that word is just for demonic attack. Touch not my anointed. You are working for years. You are delivering results. Yet they said they cannot promote you. How dare they? How dare they? The Bible says, touch not mine anointed. My leko saine mena ko saiko boro de keteli ma yende. Ina ko saike pamela kato ko gina gamala takabaya. Reke teke soko tori ma mama. Reme de ko soto robo ko ko sonte leke de dali bo ko saike lebo yegaba. Yena ka prame keto sondo robo ko so like yabo. Yendo bromo ko soto robo ko soko toliba. Yende reko po soto robo ko soko to yeke te boya. Inande brika saili komenande liko baibe le ko saine de ke balate yabo. Inande reke po soto like ya ne ke teriba ye. Zeko poro to ko sobe le ka menanto robo ko sobe la ke ta yeke le boya. Yene ko po soko to rimama saili ke yabo lo ko to kapaya. Rakata balakata yeke te le de 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 bo. Yende de 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 bo so do robo ko so to rimaba In Jesus Christ name we are praying. You know, I, 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 there are some words that are coming to my spirit for some people on this call, and I need to quickly, quickly put that out as, as we go into our next prayer. There is somebody here. The, the, the Lord says you are you are working just too hard on your job to prove a point 
you know, and it's beginning to affect you so much so that you don't have so much of a work-life balance because you, God says, as you tell you, you are good enough and you don't need to impress anybody for me to do what I want to do in your life. God says, you, you, are, you are good enough. You are good enough. You are good enough. You are good enough. I don't know if there is somebody here that, that the, the, the environment where you find yourself is already pushing you into a place that is making you feel that there is something extra you have to do. God says, I should tell you, you are good enough. You are good enough. You are good enough. You are good enough. Say la mena kota mela kenda ye le kosa ile barako si by far there is somebody here god says he's opening another door for you just to prove to you that you are worth more than you are celebrated right now right kenabo cycle mayenda se ko maleto saine bro ikale ma cycle baya le kosi na mayeke le mayeda you, you, another door is opening for you, a bigger and better door. And the only thing God just wants to do, in fact, you will be surprised when it comes because you will know, you will feel that you do not deserve this. But God says, no, you deserve it for the longest time. And he just wanted to prove to you that it is not about you. It is the people who are not seeing the best and it's going to be their loss when you are finally out. Like in Abu Sai Kabalia. Rekabo Sotoriba. Can we pray Leha Kabala this morning and say, Lord, you will make me into a God. Ah, Kalito Tekelibai, Rekamenande Broma Se Kaliba. You know, there is a way that God can make you into a God like He did with the Israelites in Egypt. And you will be at the negotiation table. I, I, I remember when I was when, when I was um, speaking with my boss, I, I told them they were they were negotiating with me not to be. I said, look. I, I was telling my boss, that, and it's, it's not like all of them were that bunny. I mean, they claim to be Christian. I said, look, I have prayed to God, and this is the amount I told God I want to earn. It does not matter what you are negotiating. I believe this is the amount God is giving me right now. <laughs> look, I, 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 and I recall that my, my group MB has me said, why are you asking for this amount? I said, because I told God that my one month salary must pay my rent. I said, I've moved away from three months salary paying my rent, four months. I said, one month must pay my rent. I said, that is the next level I'm stepping into. And that is what I've told God. Guess what? The man said, you know what? He said, first of all, I know you have been saving up for your rent. He said, but I will first give you your next rent. Go and pay for it. He said, you know why? He said, so that you can stop reporting us to us. He said, so go and tell your wife. And that you people should at least stop reporting us to God first. Then we will now start talking about how we will match your offer and how we will be paying you this money. Can you pray this money? I said, Lord, you will make me a God. You will make me a God. You will bestow upon me the anointing of making me into a God. I will sit down at the negotiation table. I won't be a victim of other people's negotiation. Can we open our mouth this morning and begin to decree in the name of Jesus? Leko basailu mando roboko soto rika bela ne saiko bali. Lord, you will make me a god. Raka basanta la baya. Reko sume la kename na yaga. Ele me ne to kosuko prodikelete kosame landa kurina kesi ligaba. Ela me na kosame nende kurite suko bela kito gaba. Jedi saime rai kosuko na kame na teko lebo rekete kene me ne do saime me na kodiya saime do kuruto kopola to saike le dekete zendo bro me na to zodo lo kuta kele do zumbe rekete ba yende kubela no sunto roko to ku saime me ne do robo ko zeli ba ida raka papa sata la ba yende kubo ko lata kene de me ko zilo bo roko ta kele ko teke ba yegedi 
Ela menando buruku sobela rakapata le mene kuparata saiku le mene kupabagalaya rakapakata le brete teke teke neke teke yibu yende rekete sundu roboku sundu belande kuni maike ne mendu roku saike bele kuya gali time liku samburu kabili yuke mena kabila na toka mendu sambila inde mbruku sunde bele kubila tekaba isumburu duku to yige de 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 ena mento bulutu kuputu like perete te sendurubu rakata bala masundu berete te sikele boy yende kurutu rubu kusudu yike de bo yende turuku kusuku turubu sikete de bo yende rubu kusuku yike te de de yende brubu suku turuku suku tuzuku tadiga yibo yika Rakata kapasa katala Rakata Passe que te le mena ko boroko to si ke le mena ngia. Rako mendo rubo ko po si li mena ndire ko baya. Reke boto so li kamananda rako so ili ma ye kabalaya. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. We are going to be praying that the Lord, see, you don't need to walk too hard though. You don't need to walk too hard. See, let me tell you. <laughs> In, in corporate organization, one of the things I found over time is that people who get the best of opportunities are not even exactly people who work so hard like that. They are people who know somebody, people who have been loyal to somebody, people who have been... And I said to myself, if God is the one putting me there for a purpose, if I'm loyal enough to God and I do my work just good enough, I should be getting the best of offers. It's, it's, I don't need to kill myself about doing the job. God just need to give you solution. They, see, Joseph didn't have to. He didn't have to. He didn't have to work so so hard until he lost the fine line between work life balance. All Joseph needed to do was have the solution at every right time. I always tell. I, 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 I told Pastor Missy this. I've learned a lot of skills that provide solution. And I've never had to spend more than two weeks. Yeah, because the Bible says, see, let me, and this, these are spiritual realities. See, what did what what did what did Daniel say? What did Daniel say? Daniel, let, let me let me read it for you. The, the very words of Daniel. He said, when they were worried that um, his choice of not um, when they were worried about the choice of um, he's not um, eating the king's meal and how it's going to affect um, the, the work of the, the coordinator. See what Daniel said, verse 11 of Daniel chapter 1. He said, Daniel said to the guard, the chief of the, he said that the chief of that the, the king had appointed. Verse 12, he said, please test your servant for how many days? 10 days. So I don't need to learn anything for more than 10 days. He said, test your servant for 10 days. After 10 days, come and compare us. I've learned SQL, which is a tool of data analyst. I did not have to learn it for more than 10 days. I've learned how to code. I have not had to learn it for more than 10 days. And I believe that you can learn great, mighty things. Yes, I learned to code in 10 days. Yes. And I didn't learn it from any formal school. My boss was going on leave. He's the only person that knows how to be. He was getting married. I said, Oga, I cannot allow you to be newly wed and be doing office work. You need to go and enjoy your wife. He said, what is going to happen? I said, don't worry, I have it under control, even though I don't know it. But in 10 days, I learned it. And he was out for two weeks, nobody missed him. We are going to pray this morning. I said, Lord, I receive the spirit of solution 
that my mere presence, once I'm there, people don't, there will be solution. Even me, I don't know how the solution is going to happen. But as I am getting there, because I am that solution, I am that solution. He said, we, we have the mind of Christ. If Christ is the wisdom of God and you, you have the mind of Christ, do you know what it means? What kind of mind it is that you are carrying? Can we say this morning, Lord, I receive the solution mindset. I am the solution that every problem is waiting for. My appearance alone, we just bring clarity. People have been discussing, they've been confused. I just appear and I say one or two things and everybody starts receiving clarity. It's not even me that is solving the problem, but because I'm just there, there is just light. There is just solution. There has to be solution because I carry light. I carry light. Light that cannot be hidden. Can you say this morning, I receive the solution mindset and I begin to walk in it. I begin to express it in the name of Jesus. Rakamba <laughs> Rakamba dala manto kobo de kelebre keteleba. Riko pasinde melatoze ille komba dala baya. Rakapa to bele kosi mele konda. Le kondi bri kasuili menando roko saile menendi. Ena koko to somele do sumba le kosi le kebaye. Enda nusuri kapala manti kebaya. Le kondo robo soko tori baye. Reko melanto boroko po melande rekele baye. Inendo robo soko to belande bereke teli mandi. Lindo roko pasaili menento boloko pamega lende kolina tekoba. Rindo bromo sidaya. Rende kepeleto sandi. My mind is renewed. It produces solution. Mekeneto sambele kobaya. Rikamenda. I reaffirm that I have the mind of Christ. Rikele pasaika pamela to kogina ndereke saile mandi. Imanto sobolo kopaya. Who is the who is the, who is who is the express imprint of the Most High? I have the mind of Christ. Lekai bosonda. Who is the wisdom of God? And I am full of wisdom. I produce solution. Lekama nantuba. Rekami loka femelande koroto saikele makando saimelande kelege yebu. Yende bromo soko poto kele mayenda. Ikaba sako lena kopa bagala to soko to yegaba. Helando boroto saimelande kebolo shigaba. Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. All right, so we stop here this morning and um, we'll, we'll continue from there as we progress tomorrow. Wow. Wow, guys, can we just celebrate Pastor Tayo? I don't know if you received this and I got a message from someone and this is such a blessing. Believe you me, for me, there are people I listen to not because it sounds great. He's a walking, living, breathing, talking expression of when you say you have the spirit, excellent spirit. And I just want to appeal to us. A lot of times people, you look for names to listen to. You're like, mm, who is this person? Is How many of you listen to... There was a teaching this week, and I'm, I'm not saying this to say we should not listen. I'm not saying that sometimes God gives you an opportunity to drink, but you're like, you are drinking, but with constantly, like, I don't know. You don't need to know that. They don't have to have following. They don't have to know anything. Did you listen to this week's message, last week's message by Apostle Sema? Was it not the exact thing Pastor Shego taught during Refuel in October? How many of you remember when Pastor Femi was teaching on mercy? And for me, that was the first I was in mercy in that way. And when I listened to it again during work, but I just smiled and I said, wow, God, you have been blessing us so much. May we not be so familiar that we're not drinking and, you know, receiving as much because we're like, mm, it's just this. You don't need to see a billion people for you to receive fully. So the excitement you win, I need you to 
get your spirit ready for this week. I know I told you that it's going to be with us Monday to Wednesday. Is it like, I are going to be with us throughout this week. I've crashed into your calendar. So you just want to receive of what God has placed upon his life. So can we just thank God for the spirit of wisdom? Can we just thank God? You know what I've been saying to us translate? I am a solutionary in the name of Jesus. Guys, the reason why they could listen to him when he mentioned Jesus and they were not angry or say, shut up your mouth, can you know Jesus? Because they have results. They have results. I'll say this one thing. His boss said, one of these boss said was, is MD Father, but I don't know if it's direct boss that, you know, when I heard it was you, I said, eh, I need to get involved because he said, other people have my number. You are different. You, you didn't even call me. You're not even texting me. Other people have my number. They use it for some. I've ne- you have never text for any favor. Even how to manage access is a wisdom thing. So Lord, we just thank you for Pastor Tayo. We pray that you replenish him, increase him in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for what is available on this call today and what you are set to do in the next 21 days. Lord, we are hungry, we are expectant, and we receive. Even the prophetic word you released this morning, they are so apt for the people that you've sent it for. We give you all the praise, glory, honor, adoration in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So don't forget, you can use, you use the same link to join the other prayer watches at um, 9 a.m., 12 um, p.m., 3 p.m., 6 p.m., 9 p.m., 12 midnight, 3 a.m. I will see you again by 6 a.m. Remember, just join in to pray. Maybe during break, you can just plug in and just pray. Some of the prayer points you shared this morning, please pray it all through the day. And the Lord will give us grace in Jesus' name. Amen. You can share the link. Please drop the link of now, one more thing, Pastor Femi, Apostle Femi Adon has a meeting is doing this week. If you are free to join, I'm going to join, drop the link. It's by 2 p.m. our time. Um, you can check his page. It's, uh, let me check the time, time zone. I'll drop the link. It's on Zoom. It's the year, the first of the year meeting. It is 8 a.m. EST time, 1 p.m. GMT, 2 p.m. WAT, 3 p.m. EEST. Uh, 1 p.m. GMT, 6 p.m. PST, 5 p.m. GST. Whatever T you are, you can check Pastor Femi's page online to see it. I will drop the link here. It promises to be an amazing time. That's another place because it was supposed to be with us um, as well, but it will come maybe one day. But I'm like, since he's already doing this for the year, there's no need. We can just join in by 2 p.m. or whatever time it is. You can just plug in. You know, so God bless you all. I will just pray for Apostle Femi as I start this meeting today. Lord, you will pour out your spirit like never before. He has been part of, is part of us. He's been a blessing to us. You know, I will pray the Lord will strengthen and pour out his spirit like never before. Amen. Yes, so I want to whatever tea. Thank you so much, Pastor Tayo. We're looking forward to a great time with you again tomorrow. Um, I will send, I will drop the link of the prayer. Some of you that are asking so you can have it. So if you want to share it with your family. Uh, so let me just copy the link and share the link of this um, um, uh, prayer so that you can have it. All right. God bless you all. See you tomorrow. See you by 9 a.m. and then tomorrow. Thank you, Pastor Tayo. God bless you. We love you.